weekend, Sheffield's world boxing champion Kel Brook steps back into the ring for the first time since losing his unbeaten record last September. Yes, a special one will put his IBF welterweight title on the line when he takes on the highly rated American Errol Spence Jr. at Bramall Lane. The first time the stadium has hosted a boxing event for 30 years. Here's Chris Storks. Killed me, you know, losing. I'm not one of them guys what lose, you know, I'm, I'm a winner. It's nine months since Kel Brook lost his first professional fight. The record speaks for itself, I'm a champion. I love to win, you know, so it hurt me, it hurt, but it's made me stronger, made me dig in more. Kel stepped up two weight divisions to fight Gennady Golovkin. On Saturday, he's back at welterweight and defending his world title at Bramall Lane, a venue that hasn't hosted professional boxing since Harold Graham topped a to bill in 1984. I can remember the morning of the fight, uh, we had a, a, a local scrapman called Barry Fields. He came down with his tipper wagon and we loaded, everybody in the gym loaded the ring, that ring, that very ring, onto the back of the wagon and took it down to Bramall Lane and we set up in front of one of the stands and it was a blazing day. Uh, it was a terrific day. We got about, I think, maybe three or 4,000 people in one of the stands and, uh, you know, Errol, Errol Graham won. I've been going there since I was a young, a young boy. Uh, my uncle Johnny used to take me down there to, to the matches, you know, and when, whenever they scored, he'd pick me up in the air and everybody was screaming, you know, so they were my first memories going down to Bramall Lane. And I remember one day saying to me that, one day, even before I even tried any gloves and started, started boxing, he said, one day, you know, uh, you will fight here and you'll defend your world title here. My uncle said that that many, that many years ago. And to finally have, the, have his dream come true and defend my world title there, you know, it brings a big smile to my face. His opponent on Saturday is the unbeaten former Olympian Errol Spence. It's the first time Kel will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with an American fighter since he defeated Sean Porter to land his IBF world title back in 2014. I'm up against someone who's, who's young, hungry, who wants that world title, but I know what it takes to, to get that world title and I also know what it, what it takes to keep hold of it. You know, so it's going to be, what a night, you know, all I can say is, there's going to be two winners on that night, and that's myself and the fans. Chris Dawkes, ITV News, Sheffield. Now, it's one of the biggest nights of boxing we'll witness in Yorkshire. Around 25,000 fight fans will pack Bramall Lane on Saturday night as Sheffield's world champion, Kelbrook, defends his IBF title. He defends his welterweight belt against the hotly tipped American prospect, Errol Spence Jr. Shamir Masri's report contains flash photography. Another heated exchange at today's press conference ahead of Saturday's fight. It's not often Kel is riled by an opponent, but he has no love for American Errol Spence Jr. The world's boxing fans will have their eyes glued to their screens this weekend. Around 25,000 are expected at Bramall Lane on Saturday, and the Sheffield fighter will realise a lifelong dream of fighting at the ground where he supported Sheffield United since childhood. He used to got caught with me, and one day I was there and I just looked round and penny dropped, and I said to him, one day you're going to fight here. Yeah? So all these lunatics who are singing their heads off now, nah, they're all going to be backing you. And all theirs are going to go back in your head. And it's going to be an unbelievable moment. That's what he's told me, I remember. <laughs> looked me in the eyes and said, one day, one day, son, you'll be, uh, you'll be defending your world title here. Yeah? And these dreams come true. Two days away, we've got the dream. Even his shorts for fight night will be bearing the Sheffield United colours. Kel's waited so long to fight here. I think it'll just go down well with the fans as well, I think, when they see it. And he comes out and it's like, going to cement the whole Sheffield United Bramall Lane. But opponent Spence isn't here to make up the numbers. Many top American boxers are suggesting he's too good for Brooke. I didn't come here for no reason, you know. If I had any doubts, I would have stayed home. You know, I'm 100% prepared. Camp been going great. I just can't wait for Saturday night. The city has been gripped by fight fever. Hotels have been sold out for weeks, and one right next to the ground have even put on a special Kel menu. For the hospitality industry, I mean, this is a, a massive uh, opportunity. So uh, we've been fully booked for, uh, you know, the number of uh, months uh, since the fight was launched, and also all the other venues in the city. 
Many said he wouldn't make the £147 weight limit, but he's well on course ahead of tomorrow's weigh-in outside the City Hall. Oh, get that weight on there. Can't make well to weight. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Shmir Masri, BBC Look North, Sheffield. <laughs> Calm down, calm down. <laughs> I bet you like a bit of boxing, don't you, Owen? <laughs> yes, yes, I do now, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's been a hot day, hasn't it? Yeah, changing the subject. Yeah, yeah. changing the subject quickly. <laughs>